characters, but Sephiroth still has that range and projectiles that Roy has to just dodge. Three, two, one, go! You also have to remember with Sephiroth being a, a, a taller character, uh, the meaty hits of the or the meaty meteor hitboxes are much easier to hit. That is true. A lot, a lot of the smaller characters I know uh, are almost like magnets for the sour spots, and that's a lot of the matchups that Roy struggles with. This one, I mean, Sephiroth's light, but he's he's definitely really tall and a bigger character. But let's not forget, Sephiroth does still have the potential for one winged angel, like right now. Speak of the devil. And he shall show his long flowing hair. <laughs> that was a brilliant bait there. Very interesting counter. No punish on the re grab. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what's hard. You don't know if they're gonna have the uh, giant hitbox coming out to try and scoop you up. That was good. Very, Very nice mix up for Everest. Good shield pressure coming out and then throwing in that side B for the kill. What the hell is Oh my god. Bird is just moving. <laughs> I have learned today that Sephiroth is a very good ledge, ledge camper. Ooh, had the read. Not, not quite there on the execution, however. Ooh. Just a little bit too oh. oh yeah. There's the kill. Let's see if Furt can get anything off of this one with Angel. And not quite a percent to the stock yet. Hopefully he can get something. There we go. There's a little bit. Being off stage is so scary against such a long range character. I don't think I've ever seen that play before. <laughs> I, I I love how uh, Roy is such like a strong character. How it can su kill super early. Has these really uh, has a kill oh, throw, up throw up throw right here. Yep. And then his back throw just goes absolutely nowhere at almost any percent. I mean, I think that just says a lot about the Fire Emblem characters. Besides Robin, I think Robin has. Don't quote me on this. I'm pretty sure Robin has a back throw that kills. Oh, just hit in the sour spot. <laughs> I'm very much a monkey man when things happen. <laughs> What's crazy is that entire situation could have been avoided, but uh, the F smash that really... Yep, that was sweet spot. Yeah, there we are. The F smash that Everest threw out during that time was actually a phantom hit, so it didn't connect at all. If he was one pixel closer, it would have just completely avoided that situation. Obviously wouldn't have killed, he was at 70 and it was a sour spot, but it would, would have been enough to like stay in advantage. Was he the one winged angel that last stock? I... I'm not sure. What are all the buffs for one winged angel? I know there's an extra jump and he's a little it's, bit faster. Um, super armor on smash attacks. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure smash attacks are a little bit stronger. Three, two, one, but yeah, if he had one winged angel, that uh, sweet spot wouldn't have... I mean, that uh, sour spot wouldn't have even mattered. 
very nice parry. Nah, I don't think he had one when you injured that last game. I'm pretty sure he did like 70%. <laughs> Alright, so I think we might be seeing a few more down smash for this game. Quite possibly. If the third can definitely get the reads on the shields. You will, de will definitely see more of those. Or at least getting confident enough to throw out there. Trying to beat an air dodge, but not everyone's just straight up not giving it to him. He is dead. Is he oh, dead? Sephiroth recovered socks. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right back yeah. at him. <laughs> there we go again. Everett's just not even messing with the tricks for its throwing that leg. He knows it's just probably not worth it to try and deal with that. Again, a couple juggles. Give me consistent parries. Ooh, Ooh. that was dangerous. Oh, the kill. Zero to death. <laughs> oh, I think Everest is in for a ten. Oh, ooh, just barely missing. Oh, there's the SD oh, from no. Everest. An SD for an SD here. Wait, what? Oh. All it takes is one good hit. Yeah. Both of these characters. I mean, with with uh. Oh. oh. All it takes is one good hit. Both of these characters. Just, I mean, they'll die to any good meaty hit. If that was just a little bit closer to like. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> there we are. Okay, we're Damn. going for game three. Uh, that was a good call out there. Uh, we're throwing out a lot of the F tilts and such. I'm uh, just trying to. A lot of last game situations on stream. Yeah, a lot of these players are like very similar in skill level. It's basically just like last talk, last hit, seeing whoever is able to touch out the games. Or, you know, we have Sparkle getting <laughs> hero stuff. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, what a reason. Oh, but barely enough. Very good DI for it. Holding shield, bro! Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Everest does, it didn't seem to know the timing there, so he was just kind of holding shield. Wearing down his shield. If uh, that didn't poke, that was a shield break. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's, oh. that's also unfortunate. Good. Ooh. Ooh, Everest is moving. Amazing reactions here. That was a nice read. Not gonna take the kill yet, but he is in a better position, of course. 
And that's that's the hard no, part. I'm gonna be honest. I'm surprised I have not seen Everest try to counter Octo Flash. A lot a lot of the uh, Fire Emblem characters counters are not necessarily that good. Yeah, but I do know that they do uh, go below yes. ledge, so Octo Slash definitely could get hit by it, especially since it has to pretty much complete the animation before grabbing ledge. Oh, I'm almost taking it. Taking the stock there. Everest, no, no double jump here. This decently well. Everest has the lead. He's, he's back at zero, but he just has to stay calm here. Only takes one hit. Oh, that he's it? He's dead. He's... No, he's not. Yeah. Five percent <laughs> higher he would have been. But also, good job on uh, Everest for space for uh, pausing between each hit. Oh, that that yeah, be it. That is it. Amazing ga games from Everest. Boy, not an option.